Today I have a brand new product in a brand new product line from Antec. This is their high current gamer series and I have the 620 watt power supply. I actually don't even have all the details about the other products in this line, but let's say it's gonna be like a huge refresh and this high current series is gonna be really big moving forward. So this particular unit, as you might have already guessed, is a 620 watt unit. It features 80 plus bronze certification, which is pretty good for our mainstream power supply. And then over here we will find a bunch of other bullet points about this unit. So it is rated in continuous power like all Entech power supplies. That means your 620 watt is not peak, it's not under ideal low temperature conditions, that's your continuous power that it can provide. It has 6 slash 8, so that is 6 plus 2 pin PCI Express graphics card capability, industrial grade protections, that's your OCPs, and other protection to make sure that it doesn't short out, it doesn't uh, burn anything out if it's drawing too much power somehow. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Overcurrent protection, over voltage protection, short circuit protection, as well as over power protection. All Japanese brand capacitors, You've got a 130 millimeter dual ball bearing fan, so that's for better reliability. And let's start to get this thing open. This is something I've actually, like, I really like. It's, it encourages me about the future. We've got uh, eco-friendly packaging, and this is actually really smart. It's not just a matter of, we took, like, some cardboard and, like, put it around it. This is smart. So they've actually got interlocking pieces of cardboard, and you can see that this is dual, dual wall cardboard. So this stuff is stiff. I mean, you know what? Uh, this is a sample I actually have to give back. Antex visiting, but I'm just going to break it anyway. Look at that. That's the kind of impact it takes to break this piece. And you can see, even on the other side, I didn't make it all the way through. If I want to break through two of them... Okay, so I've broken the top one. I didn't even make it to the second one. Not to mention you've got your outer carton box. So that's, that's how strong it is, and it's 100% recyclable, which is pretty cool. We've got a power cord. And then we have the power supply unit. Oh, no, we got screws. And then we have the power supply unit itself. And look, they, they fired everything. Look at that. There's a little spot in the back for the switch so it doesn't get any pressure on it during shipping. So that's how the whole thing goes together. Very smart. I love that. Sorry, I know. You know, you open enough boxes and you start to kind of gush about smart packaging. I know, it's pathetic. Okay, here we go. So this is the high current 620 watt. It comes in a nice little bag, which uh, according to Antec, all of the packaging is recyclable. So I'm assuming the bag can be recycled somehow as well. I believe it appears to be one of those like, like sort of quality paper bags. I don't think it's actually got any plastic in it. Uh, let's go here, just try and get this undone. So let's have a look at the connectors first, why don't we? I think I usually do connectors last, but we're gonna mix things up a little bit. So we got our 24 pin power connector, which is fully sleeved all the way into the housing. Okay, so that is a 20 plus four, so you can remove those four pins if you're running a very old motherboard or a uh, mini ITX board for that matter. We've got a four plus four pin CPU power connector. We don't have two of those. Remember, this is still a mainstream product, so it's four. So while it may be targeted at gamers, it's not necessarily targeted at gamers who are using an EVGA SR2 motherboard with dual Xeons and quad graphics cards. So you shouldn't be running a 620 watt power supply anyway, if that's the case. We've got two PCI Express 6 plus 2 pins, so depending how the PCI Express standards go on upcoming graphics cards, you can support dual 6 pin, a 6 plus 8, or even dual 8 pin PCI Express. Let's have a look here at what we've got in terms of peripheral expansion. So let's look at Molex first. We've got two individual wires. So these each feature three Molex connectors. And then the other one features one lone floppy connector, just in case you do still need a floppy drive for some reason. And then we have six SATA connectors. And those are on two separates. So what you can do is you can run this one up to your optical drives, you can run the other one down to your hard drives and SSDs and call it a day. Paint finish on it is quite nice. It's not glossy, so it's not gonna be a total fingerprint magnet. You can clearly see that here. And the overall look of the power supply is pretty nice, actually. There we go. So we've got some Antec branding on the side, nice little sticker. We've got an Antec stamp on the side of it as well. Just talks a little bit about what it is. 620 watt, continuous power. That's actually kind of a nice looking fan. That's one, two, three. It's a nine bladed fan. I can't see any really, anything really about it. There's nothing on the hub, but uh, you know, sometimes you can tell just looking at a fan if it's really cheap. Like you can just see the blades are nice and thick, all that stuff. Antec design, continuous power since 1986. So the company's about as old as I am. And here we go, specs. 
So those are on the top of the unit. We can provide up to 48 amps on the single 12 volt rail. So you can see there is only one 12 volt rail here. And it doesn't really say a whole lot else about it here. Aha, there we go. Maximum 12 volt load is 576 watts. So you can provide the majority, but not quite all of the power from this PSU on the 12 volt rail. Let's go around and have a look at, I think we saw the front. So let's just look at the back of the unit before we wrap this up. We got a power switch as well as a plug for your power and that pretty much does it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing. Oh, one more thing. Ah, I forgot to show this side of the box. Oh, no. Okay, so this is the High Current Gamer series and they're talking a little bit about what it takes to make that fan ramp up. So here's a little graph of how much load there is on the power supply versus how much RPM. You know how I always talk about how you should use a power supply that's gonna provide, you know, 50% to 60% load to your system under load. So that means with this power supply, if your system draws under load about 350 watts to 375 watts from the wall, this fan is never gonna ramp up. It's gonna be super silent and you're gonna be really happy. As soon as you get up to, you know, 75% or so load, well then you're gonna start seeing 1,000 to 1,300 RPMs. It might get a little bit loud, but it can handle it. It's fully capable of it. So that's a pretty good little graph to refer to. That was all.